So as you know, I left the Magic community to join the Pokemon community for a little bit of time. And I was like, wow, the Pokemon community is full of scammers. But the one thing that the Pokemon community, I mean, I, at least I haven't noticed, is they're not really full of predators. Now that might sound really strange because there are a lot of little kids in Pokemon and you would think, oh, there's gotta be more of those type of people. But I did not bump into a David, David, I did not bump into a Frank, I did not bump into, maybe I, I just, you know, very surface level, is that these people like the Poke Jew, Mealy Pops, uh, we can name them on and on, they're just scamming other dudes. So there is, at the very least, some type of, at least they're not predatory in, in that way. At least that I understand. And obviously they could be because Pokemon has little kids as the primary, supposedly primary demographic. Well, Magic, as soon as I return, you know, I get a message from a subscriber, hey, check this out. I'm like, all right, let's check it out. And it is a pious, it's a holier than thou type of individual. I hate your deck. And the on his Twitter right now, he's deleted all the things about Bonita and the BuzzFeed article and the Washington Post article and so on. And he is saying, oh, pronoun usage. You know, I hate people who don't like pronoun usage and Black Lives Matter and so on. And again, he's a white cis male. How do I know he's a cis male? Because he really wanted to hook up with Benita, it looks like, from the from all the evidence I've gathered. And I have gathered evidence. You know, he. I mean, when it's not difficult to prove this. It's in the Washington Post. It's in the Florida newspaper. It's everywhere, right? So like, I'm not misquoting anything. It, it's in the Washington Post. I mean, where else, what more public can you be? It's in BuzzFeed. And that's the most recent article in 2022. It's in BuzzFeed. And he's gonna try to distract you with pronouns and canceling his own patrons and so on. But in reality, this type of individual has problems. And supposedly he told Bonita that he was in therapy and that's one of the reasons he initially forgave him, not realizing that his first action was to try to cancel her, to create a hate mob to destroy her life yet again. And to coerce her into asking BuzzFeed and telling his lawyer to, you know, I, I think this is very, very, very ridiculous, right? That this type of individual is in Magic the Gathering. But hey, you know, I can name 20 individuals just as bad. Most of them Magic the Gathering judges. And this is a problem with Magic the Gathering. And this is why I left the community. The cancel culture is strong. I came back after Erin canceled herself. Erin, who was a very pro, very pro Black Lives Matter, very pro, you would never suspect this person to be a racist. Turned out to be a massive racist. Don't have to be so racist that she had to cancel her own Twitter, which is her whole life. And now she's no longer part of Magic the Gathering. And I feel like a lot of people have canceled themselves and or will very soon. And I obviously want to be part of that because I think I got canceled and probably might as well cancel everyone else. So back to the, the issues at hand. The guy is very shady. Uh, if we were to believe his apology and his version of the story that seems like his lawyer wrote it, he didn't realize. And he's changed for the better. He, but his most re recent act, the only reason that he's sorry is his community of hate mobbers and so on, an MTG community, they didn't believe him. And that is very interesting. Because in the typical scenario, what would have happened, and I know in a magic community, of course I know, um, he would have said what he said, and he would have said, oh, well, Benina's lying, and see, here's a video. Again, you watch the video, there's not really any evidence. And Benina likes it, she loves it. She really wanted to do the nude scene with me, and you know, she was really into me. And you know, again, the bro stuff, right, that he would say. Like the Noah Bradley. Remember Noah Bradley, the guy who canceled himself? for no reason, just out of the blue. He just said, hey, I'm a predator. And I was like, huh, okay, thank you, Noah, for telling us. I really think the only reason, the only logical that makes sense there, because no one named, everyone was so afraid of Noah. 
they wouldn't mention his name, even though Noah had done all these bad things to many people and they felt, and there were rumors of all this, no one would ever dare mention his name because no one's brave enough. And, and the victims were afraid that they, he would ruin their careers. And he's right, he would ruin their careers. <laughs> that's the type of guy he is. Um, and that's what Bradley's trying to do. He's trying to ruin Bernita's career. And by doing so, he's going to gather all these magic nerds together. And these magic nerds are easy to manipulate. And they're going to, you know, get their pitchforks. <laughs> it didn't work. Wow. Because in the past, if we go back four years ago with the Jeremy Hambleys, the Christine Sprankles, T. Wu, right? Travis Wu, the Magic for Good, whatever that group was. It absolutely would have worked this way. The, if if uh, Emma or... Aaron decided, hey, you know, we want to create a hate mob against MTG Line. Yeah, I would be canceled, no problem. But suddenly, somebody had logic and said, wait a second, guys. Let's look at this situation. And I believe, you know, I've been this guy, David's friend, for a very long time. So it, it is very curious that he did not tweet from his own personal account where, theoretically, these actors and actresses could respond, right? Because he's afraid. He knows what they're going to say. There's a reason he's making magic content and not movies anymore. They know exactly what they're going to say because they have interacted with him. Maybe other women will come out. So instead, he attacks her on the MTG, the I Hate Your Deck, the MTG platform, which again, like I said many times, I don't know what it is about this community, but they love themselves a witch hunt. They love themselves a great witch hunt. And whether or not you're guilty of being a witch or, you know, I don't know, a, a warlock or whatever, they're going to drown you anyway. It's one of these scenarios where you can't win. So if you float, you're a witch. So you get burned. If you drown, well, okay, too bad you drowned. But, you know, whatever. We, we had to make sure. <laughs> That's what, like, a witch hunt means to me. If there's no legal system. There's no justice. It's just a hate mob that you... You know, say, oh, well, you know, she didn't use the right pronouns. Dude, you made her uncomfortable. And the scenario is really, really obvious. It's, you know, hey, you're the director. You have power over her. And as you later shown, you destroyed her career or you destroyed her French projects. There were other consequences she suffered, including mental health, due to your action, regardless of what you expected to happen. Um, and you know, this type of behavior, are, are we really thinking he's not going to do it to other women? I, 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 this type of behavior does not change. Um, and I really would want him to post what he did. I want him to post and I want to see if other people come forward because if he's going to do this to one woman, how many other women have, has he done it? It's like Deshaun Watson with the massages. Like how many other women have he asked a massage from? Wow, there's like 40 of them, 23 of them. I mean, this is a insane amount at some point, you know? So again, hey, you know, hopefully he changes for the better. I don't believe it. I personally don't believe people can change their addictions this way. Um, what I think he did was he changed his branding and that's it. And the magic community is very accepting of these individuals for whatever reason. Um, so, you know, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, guys. Because <laughs> I'm the only one who would ever cover this. Uh, no other person would ever cover it because they're afraid of repercussions, right? Consequences. They're afraid of this guy and maybe his lawyer. Uh, they're afraid of all the bad things that he can say and all the things he attacks and the not not yada, yada yada. You know, I've been canceled not once but twice from this community. I'm good with it. I fully expect to be canceled by the end of this year again, uh, based on the videos I plan to make. But at the end of the day, I own a business. My business is very successful. I own a store. It's very successful. I can say this about him. And maybe, you know, I would love to interview him. You know, I'm open to interview him on his channel, my channel, and have a real discussion on mental health. Because I think he's, he thinks that's important.